When Anthony Joshua paired with trainer Derek James, we figured some changes would be in store. First off, the jab was looking good, which is a staple of Derrick James' gym, exemplified by the likes of Errol Spence Jr. and Jermail Charlo. However, we could see that James was big on training Joshua's step-around game. A good step-around game is offensive and defensive in nature as the fighter utilizing the lateral movement is a moving target stepping off the line, aka out of equal positioning, aka off the 50-50. Until the angle is matched by the opponent, the move can take away offensive options and relative power since the mechanics will have to change to land. Offensively, the fighter stepping around typically enjoys an advantageous angle that defensive systems aren't built for, whether the step is to the strong or weak side. A step to the strong side leaves your opponent squared with the center line exposed. As soon as the back foot lands after the side step, the fighter can be ready to attack. An added jab on the step around often freezes opponents in place as they often use top heavy defense to block the jab and forget about matching the new angle with their feet. When Anthony Joshua stepped strong side, he rarely tried to attack, but even if he would have, he often took an extra step to gain back balance on the reset. Instead of a two half step process, with his lead foot stepping to the side followed by his back foot, Joshua turned it into a three step process because he didn't step into a balanced stance and had to adjust his front foot. Following the traditional step around tactic, he could have started his offense as soon as the back foot landed and right as Franklin was adjusting his positioning then resetting front foot heavy. When Joshua stepped weak side, it was the same three-step process, only this time Joshua pulled his lead leg back first to start the lateral movement, which isn't fundamentally sound. The weak side step around essentially ended up becoming a slow L step. Without an offensive threat or specifically a jab to freeze Franklin's footwork, both three-step maneuvers strong and weak side gave Franklin the time to reset his feet to the new angle easily so he was ready to defend, counter, or even attack before Joshua. Normally, I'd say the initial front foot backwards half step gathering AJ's feet is an excellent read for opponents to start their offense and take advantage of his long three-step process. However, AJ would turn the non-traditional footwork into a trap with the initial probe to bait, front foot backwards first, then springboard step or 45 degree step counter. It's very possible AJ will be able to clean up his step around game with those minor fixes while occasionally adding in this trap which becomes a damn good combination of tactics for any opponent to contend with. Sticking with Coach James and developing looks like it could be the best move.